Dear friends, today we are going to focus on one of the most important things in our life. But before that, I would like to share a short story. A story of balloon seller and a small boy. This balloon seller used to sell balloons in the market. He was having all colored balloons like blue, red, green, orange and so on except black. In between, to attract more children to purchase his balloons, he would fill helium gas inside him and would leave it in the air. There was a small boy who was observing this balloon seller from a long time. This small boy came to this balloon seller and asked him, Uncle, whether a black balloon can also go high in the sky? Balloon seller answered, Yes dear, why not? It will also go high in the sky because it does not depend upon its color but it depends upon what is inside it. So these balloons they go high because of the helium gas inside them. Dear friends, this story is applicable to each one of us. What is important is what is inside you and not what is outside of you. And what is inside you is your attitude. You might have heard about Calgary Tower in Canada. It is the tallest star in Canada. Its height is near about 191 meters and weight is approximately 11 tons. You will be surprised to know that out of its total weight, 60% of weight is below the ground. That means for tall and strong building, the base or foundation of the building must be strong. In the same way, we also need a strong base or strong foundation to achieve success in our life. Dear all, today I would like to draw your attention towards attitude. There are mainly two types of attitude, positive attitude and negative attitude. Positive attitude gives us success and our negative attitude gives failure in our life. You must be knowing the story of David and Goliath. David was a small shepherd boy and Goliath was a huge and powerful demon. This demon Goliath used to trouble the people of the village but nobody could go against him. One day this small shepherd boy David he visited that village to meet his relatives. And he came to know about this huge demon Goliath. So he asked those village people, why don't you kill him? Why don't you go against him? But these village people told him that because of his huge size and his power, we cannot do so. Then this David, he killed that huge demon Goliath just with the help of is catapult. Friends, can you tell why David could kill him? David could kill this huge demon just because of his positive attitude. Nobody is born with any particular attitude. But as we grow, our attitude develops gradually. Our attitude mainly depends upon two factors. First is our surrounding. 
Our surrounding includes our family, our friends, social media, social environment, our cultural background and our religious background. The second factor on which our attitude depends is education. Here, education has broad meaning. Education includes formal education as well as informal education. Formal education means textual knowledge and informal education means non-textual knowledge. Where this textual knowledge and non-textual knowledge is used properly, it is converted into wisdom and through wisdom we can achieve success. Now let us see the benefits of positive attitude. Positive attitude inspires you and motivates others. It helps to improve your personality and makes it impressive. It awakens social responsibility. It creates good relationship with others. It creates healthy atmosphere around you. Your problems can be solved quickly and easily. And the person having positive attitude achieves success in everything whatever he does. Now, what are the adverse effects of negative attitude? Negative attitude makes a person frustrated and disappointed. It makes a person physically and mentally sick. Such person loses interest in everything. He loses his confidence and he creates nuisance everywhere. The person with negative attitude finds his life meaningless. But it's very easy to develop positive attitude. First of all, try to understand the importance and benefits of positive attitude and make the resolution to become a positive person. In order to change our attitude, don't find faults in others. Generally, we have a habit of finding faults in others. Instead of that, find good qualities in others and try to imbibe those good qualities. The next way to become a positive person or to develop a positive attitude is to do your work perfectly and in time. To become a positive person, learn continuously throughout life. As somebody said, every person is a student from womb to tomb. We feel after completing our school education or college education, we don't need to learn more. But in order to become a successful person, one need to be positive person and to become positive one must learn continuously throughout the life. One more way to develop positive attitude is to keep yourself away from negative influences. These negative influences include negative people and negative thoughts. So always keep yourself away from such negative people. Avoid reading vulgar literature and avoid watching vulgar TV shows or vulgar films. Keep yourself away from drugs, alcohol and smoking. And one more important way to develop our attitude positive is to start your day with prayer. 
Prayer inspires you and motivates others. So dear friends, start your day with prayer. And always remember, it's your attitude, not your aptitude, which determines your attitude. So dear all, always stay positive, think positive, be positive and be the best version of you. Thank you.